Good morning from middle of nowhere, Kansas. So we actually are checking out of our hotel right now while Mike is getting all that figured out. I realized I never ended a vlog last night just in like the great spirit of our last cruise vlog. I'm very bad at apparently remembering to film at the end of the day. So here I am the next morning. There really wasn't much that happened last night after that amazing pizza place. We just kind of went back to our hotel, passed out. Now I will say this is, we are in a time of pandemic, so we are making sure to properly sanitize everything. I brought 50 million antibacterial wipes and our hand sanitizing and everything. So we are being responsible while we're on this vacation. But I did just wanna, it's so peaceful and quiet out here. Like I totally understand why people wanna live here. It's so beautiful out here. <sighs> Anyways, Mike's about to join me. Would you like to join us? Oh, sure. What are we What are we talking about? I don't know. We're just talking about how peaceful it was. Oh yeah, it's very peaceful. Wow, it's so quiet here. Mm -hmm. Can Kansas gets a bad rep. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, look at the corn. Corn. <laughs> No, but it's, it is really peaceful and, yeah. Well, there's not really any place to get breakfast around here that's close by, other than like, we wanted like a restaurant, like a sit down mom and pop country restaurant. Closest place uh, that's like that is an hour 45 away. So we're going to Dairy Queen, cause that's two minutes away. <laughs> so I'll check in with you guys later. take a uh, detour from the main drive and nothing, yeah. <laughs> speak too loudly it's so peaceful here yeah it's like we're in some nebraska forest yeah it's the nebraska national forest i think yeah and we randomly pulled over to see this forest on our drive to the you know mount rushmore mm -hmm. and it turns out there's this mondo huge I think there was a little fishy jumping yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's fish in here. I'm sure this, I mean, this river is just gorgeous. Like the water looks crystal clear. I mean, there's some, there's some dirt you can see it's kicked up, but it's not bad. And it's moving. Like this water is moving. This water is not like standing still. I mean, how wide is this? Like, I don't know, 300 feet wide? Yeah. Big wide, big, ri big river. Yes. Yes. And it's just so quiet. All you hear is running water and bugs <laughs> there's like birds flying around having fun up there that bird over there somewhere I could live near this. Mm -hmm. Would do. Like you can see the bottom down there. still in the Nebraska National Forest, but we are on the fire watch tower, and we were all the way on the top level, but there were some bees, but I'll insert some pictures here maybe if I'm, you know, a decent editor. But it just, it like reeks of pine, it smells like a Bath and Body Works candle, and it is beautiful. A natural Bath and Body Works candle, <laughs> and you can't hear a thing except crickets, some birds, some bees, mm -hmm. the wind. 
gorgeous. Wish we wish we could experience this every day. We're gonna live here. Yeah. We're taking over this tower. Day 763 in Nebraska. The only thing that has changed in the last three hours is the number of spots on our windshield. We are actually out of windshield wiper fluid. True story? True story, bro. I will say the geography has changed pretty dramatically because there was a lot of farming area and now we've been in the Salt Hills for what feels like three hours, but it's reality it's been probably like an hour and a half. <laughs> probably, yeah, you're right. It's probably been an hour and a half, but it feels like a long time. I'm kind of... I'm kind of over this, uh, actually that's a pretty nice view back there. <laughs> I'm over it, but it's actually pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's pretty interesting because there's all these higher areas, like little hills and rolling hills type. You can really see it that direction. And then there's a lot of low-lying areas where you can see there's just bogs and flooded areas and general death. Yeah, it's, it's flat, but it's not flat at all. It's very, very, very interesting. Would you say it's flatter than Texas? No. No? No. This is hilly AF. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, sorry. I, I kind of meant on average. If you average out all the peaks. Well, Texas valleys. is huge. So, I mean, Texas versus Nebraska. Like, I don't know. I haven't visited all of Texas, nor have I visited all of Nebraska. So trying to take an average of everything, whether or not it's hilly, is really hard to do. Okay, all right. Uh, there's the scientist's perspective. All right. Anyways. <laughs> that was pretty mathematical, actually. That, that was very mathematical, yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, but I think this is way more hilly than at least a lot of the parts of Texas I've been to. But again, I haven't been to all of Texas. I've really mostly only been to like the western part of Texas and the northern part. Yeah, we haven't been to East Texas at all, have we? I've been there like for a couple trips, but not, I haven't explored the area significantly. Cool. Just want to show off another, another buck splatter. Where is it? There it is. That's a new one. Fresh and juicy double. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that bog. There's a bog. All right. On to the next 100 miles of this. Oh, we make a left turn in 10 miles. 10 miles. Wow, that's the first left turn since so long. Oh, goodness. Well, see you after that exciting time of making a left turn. <laughs> Feels like NASCAR. Turning left. This is the opposite of NASCAR. Oh, yeah, that's right. They, tur they turn right. We've just been going in a straight line. That's, that is actually very accurate. It's totally straight line. Is there any other way I can like nullify anything you're saying? Contradict it? I'm ending the video now. <laughs> no, play the video. <laughs> Anyways, so I was a bad vlogger and um, we stopped at this place called Waldrug. If you guys have ever been to the Badlands or Mount Rushmore, I'm sure you've heard of it because it's one of those places that have like 30 billboards for it. So of course we had to stop. Um, I forgot to vlog slash, I don't know, we were kind of out of it. We've done a lot of driving today. Um, so yeah, I went to Waldrug and we checked it out. It was kind of a cool place. I, I bought a necklace because I have a problem. Um, I bought a prairie dog ornament because I love prairie dogs. Um, but yeah, you should check it out. It's one of the, it is, it's a little touristy trappy. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a mall. Yeah. It's a mall and the reason they're all still around right now with COVID is because it's a tourist trap. Yeah. Uh, and it's also not Walls Drug, it's not Wall Drugs or Walls Drugs, it's literally Wall. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a noob. Literally Wall Drug.
But uh, yeah, so we went to Waldrug and now we're driving technically through the Badlands, but we're not doing any of the like scenic drives. So we haven't really seen a whole lot. Um, since we got onto the main highway after doing all of those back roads, we haven't really seen anything super scenic. So I think it was already my plan um, to do the scenic Badlands drive. I was just kind of an idiot when I planned this and didn't realize that our route was gonna take us like right by the Badlands. So we're gonna be back out here, but either way, we're almost to our Airbnb. And then I think we've already figured out the restaurant we're going to for tonight for dinner. And yeah, check in. If I'm smart, I'll do an Airbnb tour. So yeah. In your defense, I don't think we would have done Badlands tonight today anyway, even if we, because we're both kind of dry, driven out. Yeah, we're kind of, yeah, we're, we're a little out of it. Two, di two long days of driving. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's okay that we're not doing any bad bad stuff today. Yeah. And we'll try to remember to follow this mm -hmm. for dinner. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. See you soon. So we're doing a first impressions tour of our little Airbnb. Here's a horsey within view. But, uh, yeah. This is, this is crazy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is our home away from home for the next couple of days. Did you try to turn on the light and nothing happened? I, I did try to turn on the light, but maybe that's not good. So there's this little desk with everything you need to know. Lots of decor. It smells very nice in here. Oh, here's the bathroom. There's an AC unit, which we should not be needing to stay or use for this stay. Here's the bathroom. This place, I, I, I'm speechless. It's it's beautiful. It smells good. How do they know that it's a little cozy on a, on a cruise? Oh, I put it in the note. God, okay. Yeah. Oh, did they leave us a note? Just a note. Aww. Thank you for choosing our country guest house for your visit. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So there's a teeny tiny little kitchenette. We weren't planning on doing any like big cooking, but um, they did mention coffee makers. Oh, it does come with K-cups. I was wondering if we need to go run to like Walmart or something for K-cups. Oh, good. Okay, um, so we have, we have K-cups. Did they bring creamer? Oh my God, look at this little toiletry, like not toiletry, but like snack thing. Yeah, this actual cabin is legit. And they have all these dishes. And they do have cookware, so maybe there's a hot plate that I don't remember seeing in the ad. And this is our bed. I love the bedding. Yeah. And it has one of those uh, mattress pads for oh, you. Good. good. And there's plenty of pillows. Definitely need a knee pillow. So you can hang up your clothes. And then this is an additional bedroom. Um, they advertise this for children. Uh, we will probably not be using this because there is... Actually, I think there's one more TV over here than what was advertised, but that's fine by me. And they have all these cozy blankets to snuggle up with. I'm I'm excited. Are you I'm excited? I'm very excited. I want to go check out the yard. Oh, yeah. We need to check out the backyard because this isn't it. Yeah, this but is wait. what we're going to be hanging out in the evening, drinking a glass of wine mm -hmm. for a long while. But wait, there's more. Oh, what? Get out. Oh. So this is what sold me on this place right here. Is. Wow. <laughs> There's a deck. That's a fireplace. And this view. Yo, I got with goosebumps. Horses. I'm not even joking. I've got goosebumps. Yeah. This looks beautiful. Yeah. This is this is why we ended up picking this place. Mostly it was because of this exact this deck. Wow. Okay. Oh, they're rocking chairs. That's oh, <gasps> so nice. They're rocking chairs. Let's see how this works. Oh, I don't know how much of that required because I pressed a button. I think oh. I done moved. What happened? I don't know. Oh. Let's say hi. Hi. So he's trying to break in the fireplace. And we're looking at our view. And there's horses everywhere. Look at the horses. So yeah, this is how we're spending our evenings. It's sparking, but... Yeah, we're out of fuel. Oh, that's... That's about bump. I think we're out of fuel. Well, well we can we'll... always message our host. Yeah, we'll message him. Let him know. Or, or maybe I'm mistaken and I can't see anymore. Mike's back's kind of hurting because we stayed at kind of a crappy place last night with a crappy bed. But we're working on it. 
The hills are alive. Sound of crickets. So it might be a little hard to hear, but we are at a place called Sicky's Garage. It's a burger place and they have a lot of beers. Uh, we've already ordered. I think we knew immediately as soon as we saw this appetizer that like this is where we wanted to go for dinner tonight. They're called Tater Kegs. Anyway, sorry, that was our waitress letting us know that the tater cakes can take a while to cook. And that is because they are large tater tots built with cheese, bacon, and chives. So that's how we knew this is where we are going to eat tonight, because we saw that. <laughs> yeah, really. she saw that. I was like, I'm sold. We're done. Yeah. We're done. They also have a quesadilla filled with mac and cheese, but we decided to pass on that for now. Um, I got something called a county fair burger that is a burger topped with like I think onion rings and cheese curds. I, I already forgot. Oh, no, yeah, cheese curds, onion rings. I forgot you're right. Yeah, yeah I remember the cheese curd part. I don't remember what else it has. And then what did you get? Something called a twin cam. So everything's like engine themed. They have oil barrels out in the front supporting the roof. Um, it's an interesting theme. Um, so I, I literally have. Two grilled cheeses with a cheeseburger in the middle. As buns with yes. a cheeseburger in the middle. Hey, when in uh, I was gonna say Rome. Ra Rapid City. When in Rapid South City. Dakota. Yeah. yeah. When in Rapid City. Go ham. Exactly. You filming this? So here are the tater tots. He's gonna cut one open. Our food did come out at the same time, but I'll showcase that in a minute. Yeah, get it, boy. Get that tot. So it's like, it's like a tater nugget. Yeah, it is. It's basically a tater nugget. Yeah, there's like seasonings inside and stuff. Alright, let's try this. I have no idea what the sauce is. Medium. Thank you. Thank you so you much. Enjoy. And it's going to fall apart. That's okay. You're doing great, sweetie. It's like an onion mayo. Oh yeah? Very oniony. Oh, yeah. okay. We're gonna try some ranch. Here is his burger. Those are two grilled cheese sandwiches. There's some bacon and a burger patty, as well as some nacho cheese. And here's my county fair burger. So some sweet potato fries, and he got coleslaw. Because he's a sucker for coleslaw. 